Rogers came in as a sophomore this year, and yeah. did you guys anticipate he'd see nearly as much playing time as he's gotten this year? No, we, because uh, obviously Luke Lachey is a dude, Eric Hall's a dude, but he played a little bit last year as a freshman. We knew he would play a little bit, and he was on special teams, but unfortunately, with the injuries, he's had to step up. What, walk me through that moment when he scored his first touchdown in a Hawkeye uniform. Oh, okay. What you guys were doing and what was going through your head? It was, it was unbelievable. unbelievable. At the end zone in Wrigley, and it was just like in awe. We're like, oh my god, he actually caught it and in the end zone, and it was just unbelievable. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, because I we have three boys. I coached them from fourth through eighth grade, including Addison, and I actually teared up. I was like, I got emotional. I had flashbacks from when he was, you know, nine years old, but um, in the long and short of it, the big picture is we won the, we won the game. So it was awesome. Is it still surreal for you guys to see him out there doing that as well as he has? I mean, he stepped in for those guys, maybe a little shaky at first with his connections with Deacon, but he stepped in and performed really well this year. Yes, he's, he's been blessed with a great opportunity to be able to show his talent, and I'm, I'm very happy for him to have had that And chance. make sure Coach Abdul Hodge and yeah. uh, Brian Friends um, have really coached him up. Coach Kirk is obviously the OG, but uh, Abdul and Brian, have, yeah, we, we're, he's been lucky. He's learned from two of the best. How great is it to see him at tight end you, a place that produces NFL town. I mean, you must feel like he's in the right hands at a place like this. Absolutely, yeah. and he's loving it. He's loving every moment. He's taking advantage of all these opportunities to be able to do what he loves. As he knows, I probably humble him, don't overthink it. Do your job every day, beat Michigan every play, and if something happens, it happens. But right now, he knows team first. Keep be humble. You're just a football player in the big scheme of life. You're more important than him. It's just a game, you know, just a sport. Anything else you guys don't want to say? Go uh, Hawks! Go Hawks, beat Michigan.